working away from home more often lately and I had to get some fast food the other day and about had a heart attack. A Whopper meal with a large fry and a large drink cost $13. I can eat for a whole entire week on $13 with home cooked meals. This is my solution. Getting ready to do an experiment of a new item that I bought. I was looking for a heated lunch box. Something that could plug into like a car cigarette lighter, maybe plug into a household outlet. There's a lot of those, but I found one that's kind of unique. I found one that works with the DeWalt 20 volt batteries, and they also have one that works with Milwaukee batteries. And that's kind of like the best of all worlds, because if you live on a homestead, there's a pretty good chance, more than likely, you own either DeWalt power tools or Milwaukee Power Tools, because those are generally the two highest rated brands you can get. Anyways, this lunchbox, I ordered it off Amazon. I'll leave links down in the description. It comes with the DeWalt, well, the DeWalt battery charger and the battery it doesn't come with. You can get a kit that includes it, but if you already own DeWalt tools, you won't need those. But it does come with an adapter so that it works with the lunchbox, so you can use the battery with the lunchbox. It also comes with the car cigarette lighter adapter and also the home adapter. Now these are multi-voltage, meaning that this will work for 12 volt, which is like residential cars and trucks. It'll also work with 24 volts, which is like tractor trailers and the one for home electric works with either 120 or I believe it's 240. The lunchbox does come in a carry bag that is insulated to keep the food warm, make it easier to carry. What am I caught on? There? <laughs> and it has basically four snaps that hold it together holds the lid on also it came with in the top a storage area for a fork and a spoon it actually came with this fork it came with this spoon Believe it or not, these are actually heavier than I thought they would be. Like, they seem like they might last a little while. Now, on this side where the spoon is at, there's also a vent hole so that when you're heating this up, you can allow the uh, steam to escape. Notice there's not one for the fork side, but there is one on the spoon side. So anyways, I'm going to set this up. I've got some water that's room temperature and I'm going to take and measure the temperature of the water, put the water in here. I guess I should go ahead and show you the inside of this too before I get on with that. So it has a little plastic divider that you could put like fruit or something in it. Don't get heated up. This is a remo removable stainless steel pan. They, I believe it's like 1.7 liters. It's, it's big enough. It's like a, an adult serving. You could put, as an example, you could put meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and maybe a vegetable in there. Line them up. Or you could put casseroles, that sort of thing. Um, if I was going to do soup in it, which I've actually thought about, I would probably put the soup in a Ziploc freezer bag and keep it in here until I'm ready to use it, then I would dump the soup into the pan to heat it up. So let's get started with the water setup. I'm gonna go ahead and put the water in here, get this plugged in. The end of this has your outlets and they're clearly marked AC and DC. So I'll get this set up. I'm gonna need both hands, I'll bring you right back. I've got it set up. First, I wanna get the temperature of this water. Looks like it is 62.1 degrees. Basically, I've got the DeWalt battery plugged into the adapter. The adapter plugged in. These plugs only go in one side, so they're, they've got a, the way that they're set up, the end of it, 
for the AC is different than the DC. So they'll only plug into the one that's correct for it. Now the way that this is supposed to work, you put the lid on it, which I'm going to do now, one-handed. Let me get the lid on there and I'll bring you right back. I should mention there is a seal around the lid. That's why I was having trouble. It didn't feel like it was getting centered on there and it's because of that seal. But basically, put this on here. Now it says you're supposed to turn this on and wait, I believe that it was 25 to 30 minutes. So I'll go ahead and set the kitchen timer for 25 minutes. And I'll bring you back and we'll check to see what the temperature is. Now I should open up the uh, vent. The vent's opened up. There is, not that I can see anywhere, there's no light to indicate this is turned on. I just kind of noticed that. There's no light to indicate that it's powered on. Hold on a second. There's something there on the front. Okay, so first things first, I did not have this plugged in all the way. If you notice on the front right here, there's two things. And if you turn the battery on, the battery has an on-off switch for the DeWalt battery. When you turn it on, there is an indicator light to show that it's on. So it's a good thing I started looking into why it didn't have an indicator light because I'm kind of winging this video as usual. So anyways, let me reset the timer because I just lost three minutes figuring that out. So I'll reset the timer for 25 minutes and then we'll check the temperature of this water. Who would something like this be good for? Okay, so you know, I have a home setting channel, and uh, there are times that I am away from the house and would like to have a hot meal, and I don't really like to buy fast food. I have ate clean since about 2013, I believe it is. So fast food to me is something I might eat once or twice a year. And matter of fact, I had to eat some fast food the other day and nearly got sticker shock when I got a Whopper meal that cost $13. That was a Whopper with cheese, a large fry, and a large drink. $12 and some change, almost $13. That is crazy. I can eat for nearly a whole entire week on $13. <laughs> Anyways, who would this be good for? If you're working in a home, if you have a home set, let's say you're out cutting firewood. You're going to be away from the house. You'd like to have a hot lunch. You know, keeping your energy level up while you're outside working is always a good thing. And you do that by eating. So let's say you've got an ATV or UTV or your pickup truck's got a cigarette lighter in it. You could pre-make your meal, put in here while you're out working. Heat up your food when you get hungry. This would also be good for people like delivery drivers who are maybe away from restaurant areas or maybe the cost of eating fast food is just ridiculous to you and you'd rather do it cheaper. So you can meal prep every day. You can put your lunch in here. You've got three ways to heat it up. You could use a battery, car cigarette lighter, or maybe if you're in an office, you could heat it, plug it into an electrical outlet and heat it up in an office. Um, would also be good for like tractor trailer drivers if you need a way to heat up a lunch maybe you buy stuff in bulk or something and you'd like to I know a lot of those trucks have a small refrigerator so you keep like part of a meal in a refrigerator then you could heat it up later in the day with this so anyways I think this would be good for all different kinds of situations the important thing is for me being as frugal as I am, I'm going to be away from home more often now and I don't want to eat fast food because, you know, if I was working five days a week away from home and I was eating fast food for lunch, that's going to be, what, $60 a week just for food, for lunch. 
I don't even spend sixty dollars a month when I cook from home. So uh, that's what it boils down to, and that's why I'm doing it. But we're going to see how this works out. Coming up on the final counting down for the heat up, and I wanted to show you this. It comes with a usage manual, and it does have some broken English, but where did I get the 25 minutes from? It says, please put the cooked food into the rice container and the dishes container. Please fasten the lip, open the socket stopper and the vent, insert the power cord. When the indicator light is on, heating is started. Note. Heating time depends on the amount of food and the indoor temperature. Heating food just need 25 minutes on the condition of 25 degrees centrage, which is supposed to be, <laughs> let's just say it's 77 Fahrenheit. When the food get from the fridge, the heating time should be extension appropriate. So basically what they're saying is that your food is cold, you may need longer than 25 minutes. All right, so I can tell you that touching the side of this, the box is warm, kind of like, think of it like electric blanket warm. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to disconnect the power before I take the lid off. I guess it don't really matter. Let's just take the lid off and measure the temperature. I mean, that's what we're doing. Oh, I see steam coming off of it. That's a good sign. Can you see the steam? So we went from... You know, that's a respectable temperature. That's hotter than body temperature. So, yeah. 25 minutes. It went from, what, 62 degrees to 133, 134? I'd say that's pretty good. So I think this is going to work out pretty good. <clears throat> Anyways, like I said, I will leave links down in the video description to this. This might work something for you. You know, could, you know, mail carriers, delivery people, people that work away from home and don't want to pay the high cost of fast food or restaurant food. I think this would be perfect. Um, they have a lot of these that work that don't use battery power. They just have the cigarette lighter and the home one. So that would work, you know, if you're like working in an office or maybe you're a mail carrier and you've always got access to a cigarette lighter. But some newer vehicles don't have cigarette lighters anymore. They have USB connections. And I couldn't find a lunchbox that heated up from a USB connection because those are generally uh, low wattage. And unless it's a USB-C uh charger that's high wattage um anyways so that's why i went with the one with the battery supposedly you can heat up four meals on a four three meals on a four amp hour battery i don't know will this show me the battery level let's see it still says it's fully charged so I have to test to see how long the battery, a 4 amp hour battery, how many times it'll heat up food, but you know, it did this one just fine. Uh, but yeah, so I think this would be useful for a lot of different people, a lot of different situations. I like having the battery option. I've got plenty of 20 volt batteries, and uh, this will work out great. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.